Yes, it's Grogu time again. So, it seems EA are delisting some of the F1 titles from the PSN store and on Steam. Let's discuss. So I've just found out that F1 2018 and F1 2019 is no longer available on the PlayStation Store. Uh, EA have barely had Codemasters for a year now and they've decided to uh, delist, in other words, get rid of some of the older F1 titles. I do believe on Steam, most of the old Codemasters F1 games have now completely disappeared. Now, for the PlayStation Store, F1 2018 has gone, and so has F1 2019. Now, the explanation for this is that Codemasters were perfectly happy to keep paying Formula One administration for the license for F1 for the older games. EA have come along and taken over Codemasters, and now they've come along and said, no, we can't be bothered. We can't be bothered. So just, just get rid of them. Get rid of them. So now F1 2018 and F1 2019 is no longer available as a digital download at the PlayStation Store. Now what does this mean? Well, it means you can still buy F1 2018 as a disc-based game, but as for getting it from the store anymore, it's not going to be available. This, this is just sad news for someone who plays the retro F1 games quite a lot. And it just reinforces how we are turning into a digital throwaway world, to be honest. It's, it's just ridiculous. It really is. So how can we beat this? Well, there's one simple way, in fact, and that's not to buy a digital download. Just buy the disc version, because at least then you've got a copy that you can still use, you know, years down the line. Years down the line. I mean... Just think of all the old F1 games. You can still buy them, even second-hand F1 Championship Edition. You can still buy that off of eBay. And all the old uh, PS1 F1 games, you can still get those. Yeah, it's not a problem. It's really not a problem. But with EA coming along and doing this, it's just it's just mind-boggling. F1 2019 is no longer available. It's only, what, three years old? Why on earth? And I can't understand how 2015 is still available. 2016 and 2017 is but not 2018 or 2019. So obviously it's some kind of license issue. Probably some of the uh, classic cars now have probably reached the end of their license terms and they probably cost quite a lot to renew. And EA have just, they've just said, no, can't be bothered. Just just get rid of them. And I do hear it's very bad on Steam. Yeah, I've, I've heard that practically all the old F1 titles have disappeared. I can't confirm that because I haven't got Steam, but that's what I've heard, that almost all the old F1 titles have just completely disappeared. Now, I did warn everyone about this in my video uh, of, of probably about a year and a half ago now about why EA taking over Codemasters was bad news. And this is the result. This is the result. Now, the other thing that I'm a bit worried about is F1 2022 because there's been a pretty much no news. If you've seen any videos about it so far, it's just hearsay and conjecture. Nobody knows anything about the game yet. Nothing's been announced by Codemasters. So... And I'm a bit worried, as we are almost, <coughs> excuse me, we are almost at the end of April now, that we haven't had any news about F1 2022. Now, I've heard there's a lot of problems, a lot of problems at the moment with F1 uh, 2022 in the fact that uh, the Q&A department has been reduced from, I think, 200 uh, down to about 120 because uh, people haven't been renewing their contracts They've been having six months contracts and they haven't been renewed. It's just from the sound, from the outside, looking in at Codemasters, it sounds like a complete shit show right now. It really does sound like a complete shit show. I don't know what's going on. It's been very, very quiet on social media from Codemasters as well. Usually they're doing something by now, but it's there's just nothing. There's just nothing going on whatsoever. So what does that mean for F1 2022? Well... It could mean another disaster like F1 2021, or it could mean that they've realised some of the problems that were apparent in that last game and they're trying to fix them. Yes, which is going to take more time. I don't know what the uh, answer is going to be. I'm, I really don't. I've got grave reservations that F1 2022 is going to be any good. Yes, now, of course, we've also got the PlayStation 5 debacle where, you know, nobody can get hold of one. Nobody can get hold of one, not in the UK anyway. It's 
really really difficult so obviously they're going to bring out a ps4 version as well because they'd be stupid not to there's still 110 million people with playstation 4 so they're not going to give up that chance of revenue so you know if you still got a ps4 and you can't get a ps5 don't worry about it and to be honest <laughs> the graphics aren't that much better on the ps5 version anyway so yeah just just bear with it and get the ps4 version to be honest if you've only got a ps4 then just just do it don't worry about it but yeah so there you go just a quick video about the current situation with f1 2022 and uh, how i'm really really not happy about the fact that codemasters well no it's not actually codemasters it's ea sports of course have just just decided not to bother i mean how much is the license for an old f1 game how much is that license i mean how much i mean they've got enough money surely ea they've surely got enough money all that money they make on the other, other franchises surely they've got enough they couldn't pay a little bit for an old f1 license just so people could enjoy these f1 games for years and years to come well it doesn't look like that's going to happen the writing is on the wall for f1 games and i fear that in about two or three years time you're only going to get the current one two and the last three uh, f1 games all the rest will be deleted so we'll end up with 2020, 2021, 2022, and it will go in that sort of life cycle uh, for about the next 10 years. They'll be the only ones you'll be able to get because they'll just delete the rest. So my advice to you is do not get these games digitally. Just get the disc and then at least you've got a copy for yourself if they get delisted off the PlayStation Store or Steam. But I mean, Steam, unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do. Once it's gone, it's gone because it, they're all digital copies. So you're a bit up the creek without a paddle. But as for playstation just make sure you get a disc copy really just you know i mean these downloads they're always more expensive than disc versions anyway and you're not getting anything you're getting absolutely nothing for your purchase you can't you can't sell it on afterwards if you're fed up with it for a little bit of money you can't do that because there's nothing there's nothing to sell it's just a program on your hard drive that's all it is so yes do not digitally download games anymore. We have to make a stand against this because otherwise we've already seen the Gran Turismo 7 debacle. This will translate into Formula 1 over the years as well if we don't make a stand now. And we have to stop downloading these games digitally. Get them on disc. Then you know at least you've got a copy that you can come back to in a few years time if it's all been deleted from the PSN. Yes. People pay a lot of money for these games and they like to enjoy them for as long as they want to. Not as long as PlayStation deems that they can play them for, as long as they want to. So they shouldn't get taken off the store for no reason whatsoever. Now, of course, if you've already got the game, F1 2018 and F1 2019, you've already got it, you're, you're okay digitally, you're safe. This is only for people who want to purchase the game like now. Or in the future, they won't be able to. But if you've already got it at safe, if you delete it off your hard drive, you can re-download it again. That's not the issue I'm talking about. The issue is the fact that, they, that they've delisted 2018 and 2019. So there's no newcomers can come into Formula 1 because there's always newcomers coming into F1 games every single day. People are getting, you know, more attracted to the sport. They will not be able to download 2018 or 2019. So they'll have to go to, the, I don't know, eBay or whatever. I have actually seen that 2018's very hard to get on Amazon and eBay at the moment as well. So I don't know what's going on there either. But I know they didn't sell many copies of 2018 because it wasn't a very successful F1 game. But yeah, it's pretty hard to get any disc copies of that. So yes, preserve your games. Preserve your... Get them on disc. Don't download them. Okay, that's enough for me. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. I just had to get this rant out because I was, I, was, I, was, I was bursting. I was, I was ready to blow. I was ready to blow. Yes, you know why? Because I was going to see how much F1 2019 was. Because I've got it on a disc copy. I was going to see how much it was to download. Because I thought, you know, usually by now, there's something stupid like about £5 or whatever. So I was going to get a downloaded copy of it. So now I've got two copies of, of each game. So, you know, I can, if anything goes wrong, I've still got another copy. But I saw it disappeared. And I'm like, what? So I did some investigation and this is what I found out. Yes, it's all on the internet. So feel free to look it up yourself. But yes, I did some investigations and 2018 and 2019 have been deleted. I knew this would happen. EA, yep. Three or four years' time, they'll be deleting Codemasters. Trust me. Or they'll absorb it into their company and it will just become EA Sports. There'll be no Codemasters name. It's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. 2024, 2025, they'll be gone. 
Anyway, that's enough for me. I hope you enjoyed the cough in the middle, which I'm not going to cut out. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. You have been awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video. Yes, I can't, I'm going to calm down now. I'm, cut, I'm, I'm really, I'm really uh, at the moment just hearing that news, but I'm okay. I'm going to calm down now. Thanks, everyone. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.